Are you concerned your seven or eight year old may have dyslexia? It's a great idea to find out now because the earlier you catch it, the easier it is to treat. Catching it early prevents other problems that would occur if it was missed. So great job on being an aware parent. Hi, I'm Samantha from Learning Success and we made this video to help parents catch dyslexia early. Formalized dyslexia testing is simply not available for most people. And when it is, it's extremely expensive. We're working to fix that. We want to make this information available to all parents who need it. Will you help us with that by hitting the like and subscribe button below? Thanks. We appreciate that. Let's get to the test. I'm going to ask you a series of yes or no questions. For every yes answer, I want you to add one to your score. At the end, we'll add that all up, and that will give you a better idea if your child has dyslexia. If needed, I'll point you to a free resource to get an even more detailed report. Question number one. Does your child seem intelligent, but is struggling in some subjects in school? Number two. Does your child have difficulty remembering the names of letters? Number three. Does your child have difficulty learning what sound is associated with each letter? Number four. Does your child have inconsistent spelling, spelling the same word differently at different times? Number five, has your child had a difficulty learning to tie their shoes? Number six, does your child have trouble with sight words? These are words like said, where, and to. Number seven, does your child have difficulty with some words even though they have seen them many times? Number eight, does your child hate reading out loud? Number nine, does your child read very slowly or inaccurately? Number 10, does your child have trouble figuring out new words by sounding them out? Number 11, is your child not interested in books about things they like? Number 12, does your child have a poor pencil grip? Number 13, does your child have poor handwriting? Number 14, does your child have trouble remembering what they have read? Number 15, does your child sometimes skip over punctuation when reading or writing? Number 16. Does your child hate school? Number 17. Does your child get headaches or stomach aches before school or homework? Number 18. Is your child mixed dominant or does not have a dominant hand? If you're wondering about mixed dominance, there's a link in the description. Number 19. Does your child confuse similar letters such as B and D? Number 20. Does your child confuse similar sounding letters, such as F and V? Number 21. Does your child substitute words when reading aloud, like house instead of home? Especially simpler words for more complicated words, such as car for automobile. Number 22. Has difficulty separating sounds in words, for example, ka, a, t for cat. Number 23. Has trouble blending sounds. Number 24. Is there a family history of dyslexia? Number 25, does your child complain about reading? Okay, what's your score? If your score adds up to three or more, then there is a possibility of dyslexia or something related. It doesn't mean it's dyslexia, just that you should dig a little deeper. Here's how you can do that. We've created a free deep dive dyslexia screener for you. Fill it out and then it will send you a free report. That report will help you understand what type of dyslexia is likely. It will help you find the specific areas where your child is having trouble and also give you suggestions on how to fix them. The link is in the description. It's totally free and we promise it will help you and your child. So jump down to the description, click the link and do that screener now.